What's up, uh, you know, Twin Flames, Jeff and Shalia here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk today about what the masculine is doing, you know. Uh, just uh, just so you're aware, if you, you know, at the time that you're watching this video, uh, you know, it's pretty important to know that the masculine's coming tomorrow. And uh, the masculine's out, you know, dating other women right now, but <laughs> he's gonna come home at, at the in the weekend, you know, smelling a beer and cigarettes and have someone else's lipstick on his on his thing. But he's gonna be ready to come sit down with you and have a spiritual conversation. <laughs> and it's important because you know Saturn, Jupiter, and Venus are all coming together, like the masculine is saying. And he's gonna take his shoe off and he's gonna sit down at your bed. And then his shoes will be at your bed. And getting a vision of the masculine sitting down with his shoes at your bed and uh, if you didn't know already you know we're twin flames Jeff and Shalia and uh, we're gonna tell you how the man what the masculine is doing today okay but you're gonna have to keep coming back to find out what the masculine is doing unless you uh, learn how to do it for yourself <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about how to identify what the twin flame masculine is doing so let me start. If you're if you're a male and uh, you know watching this, it's pretty easy to identify. Or if you're a woman who identifies as the more masculine energy in your union, here's how you find out what the masculine is doing. What are you doing right now? <laughs> okay, that one's easy. Shalia, can you uh, enlighten us? What if you're say a woman and the feminine component of a uh, you know twin flame union? How do you? I mean. Imagine you don't know what I'm doing, okay. necessarily, you know. How do you identify what the masculine is doing? Um, well, it's, a, it's an inner feeling, it's an inner knowing, and, um, you know, I'm not just saying, oh, you know, it's an inner... What I'm saying is, like, uh, because you and your twin flame are one at the core, you can tune in with your heart and you can feel exactly what it is that you're going through and know that your twin flame is a direct mirror of you and is therefore experiencing uh, basically the same thing. And I'm not saying like, you know, you're at the movies and, and it means they're at the movies or like, you know, um, you're going through depression and guilt and so that must be what they're, they must be experiencing depression and guilt. It, no, no um, you know, it's you have masculine energy as a woman, right? You have masculine energy inside of you and you can be very um, direct and in touch with your masculine energy inside of you and know what's mm -hmm. happening. Like, for instance, I'll use myself for an example. Like, um, around the time that Jeff and I first met, uh, Jeff was really focused on his uh, business at the time and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, supporting himself um, uh, it's like self-employment, on, entrepreneur, it's a, being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and at that same time, my masculine energy was very much focused on the exact same thing. I wanted to be uh, financially uh, secure, I wanted to have a better job, I wanted to be self-employed, but I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to get there on my own, mm -hmm. you know, that was my problem, is I didn't know how to... Um, convert my talents and abilities, you know, into an income at that time. Mm. And so, you know, it was that, I mean, that's a major portion of it. And also my masculine, my masculine energy was very much focused on health and fitness. And uh, Jeff was also very much focused on his physical, mm. you know. Yeah. And then as we got together, um, we became a lot more focused on our inner world and that's what we've been maturing and developing and that's what we see manifesting now in our life is this uh, deeper reality and more expansive reality of who we are individually and together and that's what's now manifesting you know but you know that I mean that's a really good um, that's the best really advice that I can say like if you want to tune in to like what's the masculine twin up to and, and stuff well that's what it really it isn't this whole oh uh, you know Mars has Mars and Venus have this freaky alignment and now you know you can expect within a week or whatever that the feminine and masculine are coming together as one fool there's
there's no separation. They've always been together as one. It's just your perception. And the deeper meaning of all these astrological alignments is to learn the lesson of them and transcend it. You know, uh, our soul was born from God and it was born beyond being affected by planetary bodies and planetary alignments. Here on Earth, at this time. Here on Earth, at this time. Come on. But based off of, uh, you know, perhaps your past karma and your, you know, past lessons, um, you know, you're semi at the whim of uh, all these insane alignments, all these sure. you know, solar eclipses, all that, that'll, that'll affect you. <laughs> You know, if you haven't mastered what it is that your natal chart is teaching you. So, but my point is, is, you know, you can transcend and go beyond this and you can unify with your divine masculine and, uh, and your divine feminine self by dissolving your ego and dissolving these thoughts and beliefs of separation and merging, you know, identifying with your divine self, you know, as a child of God. So, you know, sometimes the Divine Masculine, if you're in the Divine Feminine, is doing something complementary to you. Sometimes it's right. moving with you. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. And if you're trying to find out, it's because you're trying to control. Right. You're trying to manipulate. You're trying to make something outside you make you feel good inside. But it's because you're avoiding and numbing out to the fact that you don't feel good inside and you haven't decided to face it down on the inside yet. Right. You know, I think a lot of people, they enjoy these divine masculine, feminine posts, you know, twin flames. What are they, what's the divine masculine up to, you know? It's like a story, you it know? It's a like story. The gingerbread man. Now he's, according to the stars, and you know the stars, all those goofy things. Now he's walking around Drury Lane. <laughs> he's knocking on the door. Do you hear his little knocks? Oh, and his little red button fell off. That gingerbread man. That's what I see when I see this <coughs> Twin Flame bullcrap. And look at my storybook cards! <coughs> the Twin Flame masculine is burning! Oh no! It has nothing to do with my Twin Flame journey unless I try to draw the two together and make my own connection. Otherwise, I'm just watching a puppeteer! <laughs> right. It, I mean, it's just like what Jeff's saying. It's, you're being <laughs> invested in a story and you're hoping that you don't have to do your spiritual work, essentially. And then the gingerbread man will bring me my twin flame in a nice leafy no, basket. Now, it doesn't mean everyone is like that, but we're bringing an important point of awareness that you know, people fall into the habit of, or can fall into sure. the habit of, is um, not seeing like what the truth of the situation really is, is that a lot of people are just looking to be told a story of their divine masculine twin flame and what are they up to? I'm in separation. What's he doing? I'm wondering what's going on outside myself because I believe that that can affect the inside. Right. Nope. Right. Or like I can tell you, there was like no no there was no, there was no like planetary cosmic alignment that ensured Jeff and I were together. Sure, the influences of the positive and the negative radiation from these planets and stars, sure, they can help. Um, but it was ultimately my choice to align completely with the divine that got me where it is that I am today. And it always mm -hmm. will be. Yeah. Even if um, there are still lessons I'm learning and you know there might be some challenging aspects, um, but that's just not really my truth anymore. It's very rare that I personally feel affected mm -hmm. by a planetary cosmic alignment. Yeah. Very rare. Because I've learned like the lessons that my natal chart has presented me in Jeff too. So I don't know what a natal chart is, but it sounds your birth really chart, interesting. Your birth chart for your astrology. I and... still don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. No, you know what it is. I've done yours, you've seen it. Okay. Your Aries, all the, you know, your moon sign, your Mercury. Yeah, but I'm still just Jeff. Anyway, he, he's seen it before. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. So, you want to find out what the Divine Masculine is doing? Don't go look at the story of what the gingerbread man is doing. The cosmic gingerbread man, I guess. <laughs> With the big purple button, special whiffy hair. No, just go with it. Right, and Jeff's not saying this because he's a skeptic of astrology, so you're, or that I'm a skeptic there, sure. of astrology. 
but it's because we understand the real purpose of astrology in deeper truth. The deeper truth. And we're helping you avoid the bull crap. Right, just to be honest about what this really is about. So, yeah. you know, we're and not. And guiding you deeper within yourself. Right, exactly. It's better to know the truth than to base your life on a lie, that's for sure. Very good. Well, thank you so much for joining us in this video. If you like what you saw, like and uh, let us know in the comment section and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And also, if you haven't seen in the box below, we have an uh, in-depth roster of resources that we share uh, regarding Twin Flames. Sounds good. Thanks for joining us. Alright, we'll see you guys in other videos. Ciao!